Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. Tricks, traps and blunders. In this video you will see some of the most amazing Queen's Gambit miniatures. Let's start. D4, D5, C4, the Queen's Gambit accepted. Knight to F3, Knight to C6, E3, B6, Bishop takes on C4. Knight to a5, attacking the bishop. Queen to a4, check. Bishop to d7, white to move. What is the best square for the queen? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps some players would play bishop to b5. In this game, player with white pieces played knight to e5. What a blunder. He forgot about his queen. Black happily captured the queen. Should white resign or play another move? It is too early for white to resign, isn't it? I guess white should play one more move. And that is bishop takes on f7 check mate. Next game. d4, d5, c4. The queen's gambit accepted, knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, knight to c6, bishop takes on c4, bishop to g4, pinning the knight, how to unpin, play with the white pieces, play the queen to b3, bishop takes on f3, damaging the white's pawn structure, should white play g takes on f3, or maybe there is another move. There is another move, and that is bishop takes on f7, check. King to d7, white to move and to check, mate in one, and the move is queen to e6, check, mate. Next game. d4, d5, the queen's gambit accepted, knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, and now g6. Bishop takes on c4, bishop to g7, Queen to a4, check, knight from b to d7. White to move. How should white continue his development? Or if you wish, what is the best move for white in this position? In this position, player with white pieces play this very beautiful killer move. Bishop takes pawn on f7, check. King takes bishop. What is the follow-up? White play the move and black resigned and the move is... Knight to g5, check. Black resigned. If the king goes to e8, what happens then? Then checkmate to the black queen. And what else? If king goes to g8, then check, and there's a problem on the light squares. Play with the black pieces can prolong the game like this. But in the end, he would be checkmated. Next game. d4, d5. The queen's gambit declined the slab defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3, a6, the Chebenenko variation. Queen to c2, b5, c takes on d5, c takes on d5, Bishop to b4, developing the bishop before playing e3. Knight from b to d7, white to move. Should white play e3 as planned, or maybe there is a better move? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? White play the move and black resigned, and the move is kaboom. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes knight. Bishop to c7, and goodbye to black queen. Next game, and this is my favorite game today. Play with the white pieces started with d4, d5, c4, the queen's gambit, declined knight to c3, c5, the Taraj defense, white to move, and now the fun begins. c takes on d5, c takes on d4. D takes on e6, D takes on c3. Wait to move and to play the obvious, and the obvious is... Pawn takes pawn on f7, check, king to e7. Why not king takes pawn? If 
king takes pawn, what happens then? Then queen takes queen is slightly unpleasant. That is why player with the black piece is played king to e7. Why to move? How would you continue? Player with the white pieces captured the knight, promoting it to what piece? What would you do? You promote it to the queen, knight, rook, bishop, donkey. Player with the white pieces promoted the pawn to the knight with check. Rook takes knight. White played the move and black resigned and the move is bishop to g5. If he moves the queen, it would be an illegal move. If he moves the king to a safe spot, then queen takes queen. No jerking. How did you like this queen's gambit miniatures? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.